Blue corn chips, blue corn, all of that. It's really not that blue, that toxic blue color made of yellow dye number six. If we, uh, we uh, convince our children it's fun and happy as we poison them. What are we doing? So that is the whole thing about the blue food. But to, to assure you all, and to have all of you feel so much better, I have a little surprise for you. <laughs> yes, here it is. Blue and Yes, I did. Would you like to open this? Yes, I can just rip this up. Hold on. It's going to all come apart. Look, there they are. Give them to me. I deserve an applause. for Chief Golden Light Eagle. <laughs> and there's a guy named Garrett. Oh. <laughs> Is he over there? Yes. Uh, there's some more over there for you waiting patiently for all the blue M&Ms for all you guys. But look at this. So if you can talk yourself into it, you can talk yourself out of it. Same way with any food out there. If there's something that's making you very sick, and you think you have to have it? No, you don't. And you can talk yourself right out of it. And you all know how... I'm just I'm still kind of shaking a little bit. <laughs> 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 I really... <laughs> 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 it wouldn't let me go. <laughs> yes, they do. Actually, I, I do really, I really, really had a problem with it, and um, it took a lot of the holes in, uh, in the wrong dose. You, the insider really know that. Especially my family, won't they be so proud of me when I come home? And I can say, look, mom. <laughs> my mother is the oldest surviving member of the Morningstar family. She's 86 years old. Uh, by the way, she does send her love to you. She's a very loving woman. Uh, she, yeah, I know that. She's actually the most loving human being, I think. And to have my mother hold you and love you is to have a miracle occur. She will hold you in a way that you will feel every ounce of love literally bleeds into every cell of your body. Oh, She's an extremely loving woman. Uh, she has been a, a staunch supporter and a lovely family that did support me in this effort to, to recover. And uh, they were very pleased when I made that little trip to South Dakota. See, Kaya did go back on her. Kaya has come here. She passed away long ago in that wooden wheelchair with those questions. What made her so sick? She's here now. And she's found the answers. And she brings all that back to you. And she went to South Dakota for your weepy ceremony, a healing ceremony, because Barbara Morningstar could only get herself well up to that point. And then you weepy, oh, those beautiful hearts, many of them are back there, came, and with the prayers of the people, with those depressions, I am truly here. And there's no mistake. There was nothing casual. I was told it would take a year to uh, lower the sensitivities to get better. It was the sickest year I had in a long time. I kept getting very, very sick until I realized, huh, I get it. Oh yeah, I would react violently. And then I didn't react to that anymore. It was gone, like one last hurrah. And then the next and the next and the next, in the reverse order of how it came. Thank you very much for all of those prayers. It was a, it's been an honor uh, to have experienced all of that. I, I can only tell you that since then, I've continued to um, I've continued with ceremony. We've done hambracha on my land. We've uh, 
try to open ourselves as a people to more ceremony, 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 ceremony. The blessings are indeed there. Please, please do not uh, uh, dismiss that. That was a very key part in the overall healing. Blessings. The blessings have been extraordinary. The teachings have been monumental, really. The physicians that have come forward, that I funnel information to, that are working underneath the, the uh, radar to try to change the system. We're cracking a lot of uh, things. We're directing uh, research. Uh, the starships have come in. Uh, I have two of them that work with me, and they funnel information down to me and I funnel that uh, to the researchers. We're working very hard. I want it to be a better place for everyone. I want it to be a healthier place for everyone. I want your children to experience a healthier environment. I want those whales to sing. I want all the sea life to rejoice in that sacred song with you. I want all of that. And those have been my prayers at Sundance, and that our unborn and our unborn can have a place to be, a place they can truly call home, and have it a healthy and a very beautiful place for all of you. I don't know how much time I have. I'm out. <laughs> Bless your heart. This is a super special lady. Are you doing a workshop? No, I'm not. I'm, I'm just here. I'm relaxing and enjoying everyone. There was a time just a few years ago that this lady could not sit on her own couch because of the fibers in it. So we couldn't get her anywhere. So the fact that you traveled here and you sun danced and hauled all over the country with chief and everybody is just a miracle to me. I'm so thrilled I can't stand it. I just think this woman deserves a heartfelt 